here uh, Mr. Ashworth here thank you for joining us this evening for the year six graduation ceremony online for 2021 we hope this evening is filled with good times and great memories we trust you will celebrate with your family and whanau at home here's our program for the evening we'll start soon with our school karakia and you are invited to join in then we'll have our welcome song followed by the principal's address Next, we'll have our reflections and inspirational quotes from the Year 6 graduating students. Mr. Kingy, our Board of Trustees Chairperson, will be here to share his words of wisdom and we'll follow that with some of the Year 6 memories. Our guest speaker this evening is Julie LaHoud. And our three Cowrie team teachers will present the awards to our Year 6 students after which we'll conclude with our farewell song. He wakarekinoa. We're all in this together, so please do join together in saying our school karakia. Nenoi tata. Kia hora te maina. Kia faka papa. Kona mu te moana. He horahi ma tato e te rangi nei, aroha atu, aroha mai, tato e a tato kato. Amen. May peace be widespread, may the sea be like green stone, a pathway for us all to stay. Give love, receive love, let us show respect for each other. Amen. Thank you for joining in with our school karakia. The students will now begin with their welcome song. Mr. Fletcher has been Chaucer School's principal for some years now and we are delighted that he could join us tonight and be part of our Year 6 graduation ceremony. Kia ora, Year 6. It is my privilege and absolute pleasure to share a few words as you come to the end of your time here at Chaucer and you graduate at the end of 2021 and at the end of, let's be honest, what has been quite an interesting year. So I'd like to start by saying a few things about <laughs> M2 
MC Prince, Ipal in the house, sending this out to all you Chaucer Year Sixes. Yep. Year Sixes 2021. Who are they? Well, I can say all leaders with plenty of grit, strong leaders. You are on to it. Chaucer values in effect, strong values. They're firmly set and lived and breathed by all of you. Makes us proud and you're fine out too. Yep. Teacher-led learning, hmm, sometimes student-led learning. Now you're talking, empowered learners, that's what you are. Give you a grade, five star. Yep. Year sixes, you rock. Year sixes, tick tock. What? That's a lame rhyme. Choice of year sixes. See you next time. Peace. Word. Uh, sorry about that. I'm not entirely sure what happened then. Anyway. Many congratulations again on graduating. Remember, once Chaucer family, always Chaucer family. So please keep in touch. Let us know how you get on next year and beyond. And very best wishes for your future. Ka kite ano. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Fletcher. And now we invite you to sit back and enjoy the reflections and inspirational quotes put together by our talented Year Six. Uh, my best memory is Going to Willow Park camp and um, having fun with my friends. The best memories I have at Chaucer School is probably um, making new friends and meeting my teachers. Um, getting in trouble with my friends instead of just myself. Uh, my, the best memories are the ones that I've had with my friends and like all of the trips I've been going on and all the fun I've been having. One of my best memories from Chosa School would be when we had culture day. Um, the best memories that I had were um, making fun memories with my friends. Um, making friends. Like when I first came here, I didn't have any friends. And then after, I remember one of my first friends was Arav and Sharia, and then they were really good friends. I enjoyed playing with my friends. What I appreciate about Chaucer School is uh, having friends. I appreciate the teachers that taught me to do things like this. All the teachers are kind and they care about us. Like if we get um if we like need help they um they help us. My friends. Making new friends and being a leader. Um, my friends, I will never forget my friends and I'll never forget the respect and the confidence I have gained here. I think they won't forget about Joseph the teachers. Making friends and having fun, like with the teachers and stuff. Uh, how to organize my time and do my work with discipline. I won't forget the Chaucer values and carry them on to my next school. I won't forget the Chaucer values and how they helped me. One thing that I won't forget is SLL learning because it teaches it. You can choose what you learn. What I learn is like how to do coding and lots of different types of art. Uh, what Mr. Yao taught me for my maths. 
I learned how to do my timetables at the school and also I learned that no matter what race or culture you are, you're, you're always accepted. The best memories I had at Trussell School was Cultural Day and I appreciate the teachers teach me how to be more confident. My friends and my teachers. The four values of Chaucer School is something that I will always remember because it will always empower me throughout my life. I found them very helpful, very friendly, very accepting and kind and compassionate about wanting us to do our best as a student. I'd never forget the teachers and I'll never forget my lovely friends. We would like to take this opportunity to invite Mr. Kingy, our Board of Trustees Chairperson, to share his thoughts on this special occasion. Kia ora koutou. Uh, thank you very much everyone for allowing me to speak tonight. Uh, it's definitely something different, it's something I'm not normally used to doing. I'm used to standing in front of a, a hall uh, full of people and it's definitely out of my comfort zone to be doing something via video as Mr Fletcher and the Board of Trustees can attest to. I'm not exactly a technology guru, so here's hoping that this even makes it to you. I just want to acknowledge everyone and all the efforts that you've made and, 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 and gone through this year to actually achieve what you've achieved. We thought 2020 was going to be a big year. Uh, we thought it was the worst it could be. Uh, then 2021 came along and read its ugly head. And we've experienced probably twice as much as we did in 2020. I mentioned last year in 2020 in that graduation that we're in, we're in tough times. And a lot of what I said last year is definitely probably relevant this year as well. I'd just like to say, like I said last year, um, and referring to my notes from last year, that this year I learnt to take a breath. Take a breath when I'm um, experiencing life, when I'm going to say something or when I'm speaking to someone. Everyone is definitely in a state of shock or frustration and we can definitely sort of say th some things that we, we don't mean to say and I definitely think that at this time in our country's history we should definitely be uh, empathetic to people and, and caring for people and just un try to understand where people are coming from and, and what people have to say. Uh, we're a nation of, of great leaders and great people and um, let's not lose that. So primary school, so you've finished primary school guys, uh, you've moved on, you're going on to, to intermediate next year, some of you might be going to uh, intermediate uh, colleges, a uh, combined combination of the two. So you've finished a, a pretty big step in life and although last year my daughter graduated and went on to BBI and it was definitely an emotional time for me, I would most definitely say that this year was, was getting up there as well. The reason for that is that many of you, well you're in year six, but some of you would have been here for six years now. I've been part of the Board of Trustees for six, six years. I'm coming up to the end of my second term now and it seems like just yesterday I started and, and I suppose for your parents, probably not so much for you, you grow up pretty fast and it must seem like it's just yesterday when they're walking you into Chaucer for your first day. So it's, it's a big milestone in your life and it's something to be proud of, the achievements that you've made and the friendships and the memories that you've made here at school. Be proud, remember it, know that you're part of a bigger Chaucer family and you'll always be welcome here and you'll always be a part of our history. So be aware of that and, and be proud of that. I also mentioned last year that you are the light, you are our future, you are the hopes of our country and the hopes of our, of our families. 
So we could have the next Prime Minister sitting there right now, we could have the next CEO of a big corporate, we could have the next best artist to come out of uh, New Zealand, or we could have the next viral sensation on TikTok. We could have anything like that sitting right there, sitting right there in front of us. And all of these things can be achieved and all of these things, you definitely have the talent. Uh, you've got a fresh open canvas, um, paint your picture of life on it and, and go out there and 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 achieve and do what you think you can do and do more than that because you can definitely achieve anything in this life as long as you put in the hard work and the concentration and the focus to do so so please um, don't let there be any barriers in your life now I tend to like to say uh, a few sort of uh, quotes in all my speeches um, I always tend to go back to my peanut butter on toast uh, quote uh, if anyone wants to know what that's all about, uh, I think I mentioned it in a yearbook or something like that. Uh, it's just something that sticks in my head as well. But also one of my great resources for quotes is the great Winnie the Pooh. Uh, today, uh, this year's uh, quote comes from his, his great friend uh, Christopher Robin, and it goes a little bit like this. Uh, you're braver than you believe, and you're stronger than you seem, uh, and smarter than you think. So don't limit yourself. <clears throat> excuse me don't limit yourself don't uh, think that there are limitations on yourselves because there aren't you can do anything and go anywhere you want in this life and definitely you have the support of, of Chaucer behind you and hopefully we've given you the great foundation for you to go ahead and do that so this summer enjoy yourselves prepare yourselves for next year and, you, and your life beyond that enjoy your family and friends Hopefully we get to a point in our traffic light system where you can actually get out there and enjoy your family, friends and, and a lot of New Zealand. But more than anything, stay safe. We definitely want to see the great things that you're going to do in the future. So take care, everyone. God bless. Uh, look after yourselves and hopefully see you around later. Bye bye. Thank you, Mr. Kingi, for joining us tonight. The Year 6 students have made many, many memories over the years of being at Chaucer School. They've made friendships and developed strong relationships with other students and their teachers. We put together a compilation of some of the most memorable moments. Smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover, gone pop like Trouble breaking into your heart like that Ooh. Cool shade, stunner Yeah, owe it all to my mother uh, High like summer Yeah, making you sweat like that Break it down Ooh, when I look in the mirror I'm not too hard to do I got the superstar glow So ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a step right left to my beat
your heart like that <laughs> Cool shade, stunner, yeah Owe it all to my mother High like summer, yeah I'm making you sweat like that Break it down Ooh, when I look in the mirror I'm not too hard to do I got the superstar glow, so Ooh, do the booty line. A side step right left to my beat remain with them over the years. This evening our guest speaker is Julie LaHoud. We are grateful for having Julie here to share with the Year 6 students on their graduation evening. Hi guys, my name is Julie and I'm Lana's mum. Um, so today I'm going to talk about what I do for work as an entrepreneur. But before I start with that, I'm just going to give you a little background about, you know, when I was at school and how I kind of found school a little bit hard at times, you know, just trying to cope with all the work and trying to understand everything and just not knowing where I fit in. And on top of all of it, you know, also going through my own body issues of, you know, not really understanding about eating correctly or wanting to go and you know participate in any sports or just you know kind of trying to eat good foods and watch what I eat so basically for me it was you know just trying to get through the day with my work and just basically eating whatever I thought was good um, so through that process I started to find you know schooling a little bit difficult and I think it wasn't because I was interested or, or I didn't know what I wanted to do so when I reached year 10 um, I decided that you know I wanted to see what it would be like if I became a chef you know something to do with the cooking so I went on a two-week exper work experience and my first job that I was really lucky to get was at the Sydney Opera House and just being there, being around the food and learning lots of things from top chefs, it just gave me this passion, you know, that that I didn't even know that I had. And, you know, even though I struggled at school, I always knew that there was going to be something that I was going to do, you know, where I could put in all my effort and shine. So for me, that was, you know, becoming a chef. So that's what I did. I ended up leaving school in year 10 and starting my cookery um, certificate and you know through that I, I was learning how to cook lots of different dishes and meeting lots of new people which gave me the confidence because it was something that I actually enjoyed doing. So through cooking and you know getting older I guess I started to you know understand the food, you know, and, and what I should be eating and what I shouldn't be eating. So as the years went on and I started to develop, develop this love for healthy eating and healthy foods and different alternatives, that's when I basically started to, you know, go to the gym and exercise, eat right, because when I was growing up, I never did any of that. So for me, I felt like, you know, I wasn't really good at school and I felt like, you know, my body was just, I was just eating anything and I wasn't taking care of myself or my health. But, you know, being in the cooking industry, it teaches you that, you know, you can have really healthy meals and they don't have to be boring. So 
you know, I, I worked in the cooking industry for 15 years and then I fell pregnant, you know, well, yes. So I think I was, yeah, so I was 29 and I was in the industry for 15 years. And when I turned 29, I actually gave birth to Lana. So then I decided, you know, I can't really, I don't really want to go back to work. I want to do something for myself. And I knew straight away that it was going to be something to do with food. So I, you know, I, I sat with it for a while trying to figure it out, what it was going to be. I knew it was going to be something, you know, something healthy. And the idea of, you know, creating this cookie came into my head because, you know, I was going back to the gym and I had this craving for sweets and I've always had a craving for sweets, you know, just eating lots of junk and lots of sweets. And then I thought to myself, well, I've been training really hard and I've, you know, just had Lana and I need to get back into it. So what if I created something like a cookie? you know, something that I could have after I trained when I felt like something sweet. So that's exactly what I did. I spent a very long time and a lot of money, you know, just putting all my time and effort into this cooking, trying to make something taste good, but not only taste good, also healthy. And also something that, you know, I could just turn to and not feel guilty about. So I created this cookie after about almost a year of trying to perfect it and you know the first bite was amazing and for me it was like yay I finally found something that I could eat after I finished training and I feel like something sweet and it wasn't a chocolate and it wasn't lollies it was actually something nutritious so what I did I started to share my cookie around you know to my friends and people at the gym and I got a lot of feedback and a lot of people would say oh I would buy this from you. This is really good. So I thought to myself, well, if everybody's saying that they would buy it and everybody's enjoying it and they want more of it, well, why don't I turn this into a business? So that's what I did. And that's how I became an entrepreneur. So it's been seven years since I started Snack On Me Naturally. So that's my business. And I love being an entrepreneur. I love working for myself and I love waking up every morning doing what I enjoy and what I love to do and that's creating. So Choice to School, thank you so much for having me. So my last quote to you is, it's never about being perfect. It's about putting all that effort into something that you love and you can be anything that you want to be. Thank you guys. Thank you to Julie for sharing your inspirational story of how you created for yourself and in turn was able to create a business and share your passion with others. Now let's invite Mrs. E, Mr. Zhao and Mr. Kid to present the Year 6 Graduation Awards. It gives me great pleasure to announce the 2021 Year 6 graduates. Aku Akapalu Trishti Dubai Precious Healers Aruba Khan Shazi Bakan Apirak Curtison Rav Kuma Shreya Kuma Rari Lolly Jaden Lewitus
can't allow it makona lana paratanga tofa ola poa toa Ali Yang Scott Joe In Hub 3 we have Asia Afzali Ria Barrows Lin Waningi Ngasama Brooklyn Grave Music Hala Melad Hamidi Vainavi Madandi Isa Siraj Malau Chiolo Komail Wachta From Hub 4, we have Divya Chima Christu Kashi Sukmani Kaur Alina Khan Ada Leonard Joseph Tahafe Benjamin Tucker Renzo Tomizawa Tarek Wilson Who might a pake pake to those students? Thank you to our Kauri team Kayako for their presentations. Aroa Atu Aroa Mai. As our evening draws to a close, please do join us for our farewell song.
Thank you for joining us this evening online. We will post your graduation certificate and medal to you from all of the Kauri team and all the Chaucer Fano. Aroa Atu, Aroa Mai. We are grateful that we've been part of your learning and growth over these years, empowering confident learners. We certainly do wish you and your family every success in the future as you learn even more at intermediate school, college and onto university. Working together to make a brighter future. He waka hekinoa.